So <clears throat> I want to continue my uh, daily uh, watching the world burn updates uh, anyway and also try to help you in whatever way that I can uh, to prepare for uh, uh, watching the world burn. <laughs> That's it. Right, NATO wanted this fight with Russia. <clears throat> a lot of people dying on both sides. So today Russia captures, uh, and I can't even pronounce these Russian names, O-P-Y-T-N-O-Y-E, Opinok. Uh, this continues their continued encirclement of Bakhmut. Bakhmut. Um, <clears throat> and I uh, got some more uh, details on the Battle of Solodar. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, that fell about, well, it's been about five days ago. Uh, of course, the Russians have been mopping up the remnants of uh, what was left of the Ukrainians that were there. Uh, very depressing. Um, anyway, uh, I, I just got to kind of go around the world and we'll talk about things that you, I mean, you know, it's, it's all not just about geopolitics, my channel. I'm trying to help you in whatever way that I can. And so I always try to bring out some stuff that I do. Uh, give you ticker symbols that you might want to consider, uh, uh, financial moves you might want to make, and I know this channel goes all over the, all over the gambit. But you know that's that's what I try to do is I just try to kind of pay attention to to everything. Um, so uh, let's just get into it. I guess I'll just just kind of bounce around, and uh, I know that uh, you're going to think, oh my God, this guy. <laughs> he just talks about too many things. Oh my goodness! Is yeah. so anyway. After billions in fines, Wells Fargo um, is is doing the same old thing again. And so what they're saying now is that they're going to offer or they're pushing mortgages to uh, minorities. Uh, so if the color of your skin is um, Spanish or black or whatever or, or uh, Hispanic, I guess I should say. Uh, you can get a cheap loan now from Wells Fargo. Now, would I recommend that? No, no, no. I wouldn't deal with Wells Fargo if I were you. I'm just giving you my advice. Uh, basically, what that is is a setup. They're going to give you the loan. Uh, even though you may not qualify for it, you really shouldn't be uh, going into debt at this point in time with a, re a recession or perhaps a depression coming on. And then what they're going to do is come in and uh, take your house away from you after you've made a, a few uh, payments. Uh, boy, new new information. Boy, that shifty shift. How do you know this is this is something I have to ask? Maybe leave a comment below. How does somebody like Shifty Shift get elected? This is this is probably the most corrupt politician that I've ever seen. All the information's coming out about how he was trying to tell Twitter not not to uh, uh, allow uh, dissent in anything. Uh, you know, he pushed the Russia 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 hoax for three years, which turned out to be a a bull crap. I mean, uh, this guy, I, I, I just, who are his constituents? You know, I live in Florida. I mean, we, we now have uh, really no Democrats here whatsoever. Thank God. Oh, my God. But, I mean, these, these, these towns and stuff, I mean, these people are just, are they just completely stupid that they want to elect Nancy Pelosi or Shifty Shift or, uh, or AOC? I, I don't get it, man. I don't understand it, but that's just me. Uh, I'm going to be looking into this. I got a new um, uh, bullion distributor, Bullion Max. Bullion Max, uh, I saw a video today about them. Um, and it sounds like, you know, because I'm looking at this point, because, uh, you know, if you haven't been following, precious metals are on a tear. And uh, so I'm thinking, you know, it's time to begin uh, investigating how to unload uh, any precious metals that you have and convert it into other assets. Uh, or, you know, uh, I, I'll give you a strategy that I've always thought about was, you know, you've got a, well, it might be about a 70 to 1 ratio between gold and uh, silver right now. 
So what you could do is sell your silver and then convert that into gold once that ratio comes down to let's say 40 to 1 or 30 to 1 or 20 to 1. And historically it's, it's been as low as 15 to 1. So that would be a good time to convert your silver into gold. Uh, uh, platinum, by the way, platinum, holy moly, what a tear that's on. I, I own some platinum, thank God. Oh my goodness gracious, that's, that's gone sky. Well, it, you have to understand, platinum is like 400 times uh, more rare than gold. So I always thought that, you know, platinum would be an important uh, precious metal to own. And it, it, a lot of people say it's not a precious metal, it's an industrial metal. Okay, if you want to own an industrial metal, like I told you, I just bought some copper here recently, okay? And I, I paid $1.38 for a one ounce round and I bought a bunch of them. But, but I figure if we get do into, if the stuff hits the fan, you know, you need barterability. And, and silver coin might be worth too much, uh, one ounce silver coin. So what a one ounce copper coin, you know, maybe that's a loaf of bread, right? Um, anyway, um, so they, do, 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 oh yeah. This was a comment I found very interesting from a Ukrainian soldier. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be all over the the the, uh, the, the place with this, but uh, the, the the quote was uh, this was out of, uh, this was in Solidar. He said, "They don't give up; they just keep coming. They're like uh, let's see. Anyway, they're like orcs." You know, and I uh, and so that <laughs> that was a quote from a Ukrainian soldier about the, uh, the Wagner uh, group, which I did a video about. Um, <clears throat> so the other thing was uh, there might be seven brigades of reinforcements of Ukrainians coming in. We'll we'll see what happens with that. Another interesting fact I found out because uh, the, the Ukrainians are starting to lose uh, some of their their planes, their helicopters. And uh, it's standoff weapons that the Russians are using, but uh, and and so you know that we've got the F-35 fighter. Uh, 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 China's got their their advanced. These are called fifth generation planes, and so what we're thinking is is that the Russians are employing their fifth generation planes. They're not taking them out of the uh, controlled airspace, and they're firing these standoff missiles and uh, taking down uh, a lot of the uh, Ukrainian. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, by planes and stuff. Uh, so anyway, oh yeah, the uh, Wagner sacrifice. Oh my God, I saw a video. What the Rush? I mean, you know what the Russians and Ukrainians. I mean, any time in war, there was a, a huge video. Well, a, a picture of uh, and and the, the speculation is is that that because you've got to understand the Wagner. They're basically. Um, Prisoners, I mean, not prisoners, uh, um, uh, convicts that they've recruited into the military and they sent them out into this minefield. And uh, and basically, you know, you understand how do, how do you clear a minefield? Well, you, it, here in the United States, we've got these missiles that we send across and it tows a, a huge line of C4. As a combat engineer, when I was in the military, that C4 lays down across the field and boom, it blows up and hopefully it takes out all the mines and that clears a path where you can walk through the minefield. Well, it looks like the Russians used these uh, poor convicts and just sent them out into the field and let them blow up all the mines because there was bodies everywhere. They're just dead bodies. And, uh, and so now that the, the, the dead bodies have cleared the minefield, that's how the Wagner group got through the minefield to continue attacking in Solidar. If that's true, I hope to God it's not. But it, it from the picture I saw, it was it, it was it was horrible to see. Uh, there is a prediction that there might be a fourth counterattack coming for for back Bakhmut and uh, Solodar. I think that would be a mistake by the Ukrainians, but we'll see. Uh, it, once again, the numbers: 700 uh, uh, Ukrainians dead. Uh, by the way, more more reports on the chaos that the paratroopers that the Russians used that they put in behind enemy lines that aided in the uh, the battle of Solodar. They played a vital role, uh, and so that and, and that would make sense because you know you you, you know you you're looking at the enemy on this side. You're not expecting them to come from behind you, and especially to 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 take over the highlands, uh, much like we did in World War II. Uh, let's see, going down to, like I said, I just take notes. 
Uh, central banks are buying gold uh, at the fastest pace in 55 years. Make of that what you will, what you will. Uh, central banks buying gold at the fastest pace in 55 years. Now, why would the central banks be buying gold? Uh, you tell me. Maybe leave a comment below. I think it uh, spells doom and gloom for the dollar. That's just my opinion. Uh, I don't know. 6,000 casualties. I'm not sure. Oh, oh. Yeah, pin down Bakhmut and destroy. So, okay. All right. So that's it for that page. Uh, well, Russia increased. Uh, it's uh, hugely just this past week. It's in its investments in the yuan and gold. The yuan being the uh, Chinese currency, and they're buying up uh, more gold. So this is uh, part of the de-dollarization that China, India, and 85% uh, of the world are continuing to do. Uh, and then there's reports that Saudi is is. Well, I mean, we already knew that Saudi's cozying up to uh, Russia and China, but uh, there's there's reports of new negotiations that they're trying to solidify that uh, relationship and uh, and just uh, basically um, tell the U.S. to go go screw itself. So we'll see where that's down. Uh, if you want a TV, now my night now might be a good time to uh, buy. Uh, I did check the price. The the TV that I watch here. Um, I paid uh, nine hundred or a thousand dollars for, and right now it's at nine forty-five. So it's come down fifty bucks. But I, a lot of other TVs, if you want them, uh, there that is one thing that's actually come down in price. So you might want to look into that. Uh, China. Uh, this was another interesting fact because I was telling you about platinum. China's importing platinum at a huge rate. Uh, so because platinum can be used in place of palladium for certain uh, manufacturing. And platinum's a lot uh, cheaper right now, you know, temporarily than palladium. So uh, just 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 throwing that out. Uh, job cuts. We're seeing uh, Amazon cuts 18,000 jobs uh, in the last couple of days. Salesforce had huge job cuts. Um, so we we talked about that. By the way, there's this guy, uh, Leak Geeks. He's kind of trolling me in a way, but that's okay. I, I, I like comments. I love people to... He says that the Russians can only manufacture 250 tanks a year. And it was the old... I don't know where he's getting his facts from. The T-72. No, no, no. They're, they're throwing off uh, 1,000 T-90, unless my facts are wrong, a year in one factory. That, that doesn't account for the other, other factories. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, and I told you um, I picked up some shares of MAG, MAG, the ticker symbol. Uh, you might want to look at that, uh, if, especially if we get another drop in the stock market. You might be able to pick that position up. Uh, I think it's a good purchase. Uh, we'll see. Uh, that's just my opinion. You know, remember, I'm not a financial analyst, and this is not financial advice. Uh, so that's it for that page. Now let's talk on the home front, what you can be doing. Uh, so that's it for the... The global theater, uh, you know, I've talked to about to you about my water filters, and uh, this is this is this is a backpack water filter. Okay, see now if you're backpacking, this is way too heavy to carry. This is the actual case that the Kyoden filter comes in, but you can go to REI and you can purchase these really light uh, cases for your water filter. And uh, I've got two of these. This is an old one, but this is what a Kyoden water filter looks like. Okay. And you just drop this right into a mud puddle, and you can pump the water. The water comes out right here, and you just pump it, and, uh, and you've got clean water. You know, um, so I encourage you to buy one of these. I think it would be a good purchase. If nothing else, I mean, if you're out in the woods, and you come to a stream, and you're thirsty, and your water bottle's empty, you could have one of these in your little uh, day hike backpack and just sit down and have a picnic and pump you some water and you know and then you got fresh water you know and these uh they can pump uh hundreds of gallons of water before you have to replace the filter my god i've never replaced either i mean i've used these on multiple backpacking trips uh so today i did an exercise that you might want to consider um because i was going through all of my uh my dried food uh, if you haven't been stocking up or if you haven't been following my channel I've been buying a lot of Mountain House uh, uh, dried food. Most of it's going to keep uh, uh, till 2055 or so, uh, but I've got some old stuff. And so what I did was I just, I put it all in a footlocker and I organized it all. 
by date. And of course, the, the stuff that lasts the longest one on the bottom, which is the mountain house, and the stuff that I need to start probably uh, eating, I've moved to the top. So here's one that, look here. This is O'Meal's home style meal vegetable stew with beef. And look at the expiration date on here. Lo and behold, 123. So I, I put this on my counter and I, I will uh, go ahead and open this up in the next couple of weeks and, uh, and I'll make some uh, vegetable uh, stew with beef. Uh, go ahead and eat it because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to leave these laying around, especially if you have a food supply uh, that, that hopefully you're stocking up. Now, I, I dare say I think I've got a good six month supply of uh, Mountain House food now. Maybe longer. I mean, I was like, damn, I because what I do, uh, and just so you know, you might want to do it too, is I uh, each month I pick up maybe 10 meals, and 10 meals uh, is, is about a hundred bucks right now. Now, that's going to go sky high once things get scarce, especially the food. So, you know, each month, I in, in each month, I try to buy a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold, you know, and you're just kind of preparing, and, and it, it doesn't take everything out of my budget i still got to pay the mortgage and i still got to pay the utilities um so you know so each month what i'm telling you is just just do a little bit this was another thing that i did uh when i got home after breaking my neck uh and of course my my ex-wife had done the midnight move on me and uh, stole everything out of the house i we had that hurricane come through uh, luckily it went south of us and uh so i only had a brief uh, power outage but Look at this. This is my solar panel. Ah, now, this is the goal zero. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to lift this thing up. It takes, it's still, even though I'm, I'm, I've gotten a lot stronger, it still takes two hands to lift this thing up. Uh, and, you know, I know that the solar panels have advanced, but this is, this is a 100 watt solar panel. And I'm just going to kind of try to show you what it looks like. God dang it. Ah. So this is this is what it looks like there you go all right so hopefully you're seeing that on the video but i had these uh because you know when i was married my wife didn't want these laying around the house uh, now that she's gone i can i can do that but they were up in the attic <laughs> and i couldn't i was too weak to get up in the attic to get them out of the attic i said so you know, now that I'm strong enough, I went up there and uh, boy, I tell you, even then I had to be super careful to get these down. I'm still weak from breaking my neck, but uh, but I, I thought I better get these down in case there's another emergency. And uh, in that way, uh, this is a 100 watt panel. I've got three, three of them for recharging my solar power generator. Um, so these are things that I'm just telling you, you might want to think about and uh, you know, because it's not all about doom and gloom. You know, there's also preparation. And, I, you know, look at me. Here I thought I was prepared for everything. Boom! The wife did a midnight move. I broke my neck, ended in the hospital for three months, almost died. Uh, then when I got home, I had a hurricane and I couldn't recharge my solar generator. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just like, God dang, I thought I was prepared. And, you know, it, 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 so... I'm just telling you, life can uh, take some d twisted turns. Think about the Ukrainians. I mean, the, all those people that used to live in Solodar, they, they had to abandon the city. Imagine leaving everything you got behind. I, I've prepped my house uh, here in Florida as best I can, but if I had to leave all this behind, I can't take this with me. I can't take this with me. You know, what am I going to do? I mean, I guess I could hire a moving company if I had time. But, you know, if it's war or, or, or a hurricane or whatever and, and, and the house gets destroyed, I mean, you know, so you can't prep for everything. But I'm just telling you, do the best you can. So that's it for this video. I uh, just wanted to respond to this uh, elite geeks guy. No, 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 the Russians are churning out military equipment at a much faster pace than I think you realize. And I do appreciate your comments. And uh and I uh, keep them coming. You know, I, I, it, it makes me have to go back and do my research and think about things. Uh, and uh, I, so I do appreciate it. Peace out. Stay free. And it's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida. And, uh, oh, the last update was, man, I called the guy. I got finally got in touch with the guy who's got my old phone. Uh, when I say old, same phone as this, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. 
And, uh, and he says, well, I'm working today, you know, I can't get it to you. But he did respond. I mean, thank God, at least he, it, it sounds like the guy's trying to be honest. I hope so. So maybe I'll get the second phone and now we can start doing what the hikes. Oh, that's another thing. I got a big hike coming up. Uh, shit, I didn't write down the name of it. Uh, I was going to go today, but it was 51 degrees, so I figured I'd better work around the house. And that's another thing, you know, you have to space, space your life out. I'm just, this is just a little life advice, you know, like today, clean the bathroom, vacuum the floors, vacuum the office, do some organization, put stuff away, you know, blah, 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 laundry, you know. So I, I just, because it was only 51 degrees outside, that ain't that damn cold, but it, it is in Florida. And, uh, and, and plus, I was hoping the guy was going to call me so I could go pick up the phone, but he didn't call back. I'll call him again tomorrow. I'm, you know, you don't want to harass somebody, especially if they're trying to be nice to you. Um, so, you know, but so tomorrow, hopefully a big hike and uh, put that up on the, on the, on the channel. Uh, and of course, on Rumble, Outdoors with Kirk, Outdoors with Kirk on Rumble. And uh, that's good. I've got a whole, it's a whole new hike. I, I can't wait to go. Uh, so, yeah, the house is all organized. And then, of course, I got to unpack and repack to get back up to Virginia. Peace out. Stay free. <clears throat>